Architects, urban planners, and students were recently invited to redesign existing Long Island communities to make them economically productive, environmentally sensitive, and socially sustainable. And they were told they weren't limited by preconceptions about what's possible. Well, the results are now in, and J.B. Buno reports on the plan of one of the finalists, who's from New York Institute of Technology. Nassau and Suffolk counties are made up of suburban communities, and at the Long Island Index Build a Better Burb competition, architects, urban designers, and students submitted their ideas on how to improve the quality of life here. The finalists for the competition were announced in Old Westbury at New York Institute of Technology, and officials say it takes just one idea to transform a community. Competitions like this are so invaluable because it puts all the ideas on the table and it's the first step in making that sort of change. Officials here from the competition say that the 23 finals were selected from 212 submissions from 30 different countries across the globe. But this top submission was one of two that came from right here at the New York Institute of Technology. That's really the purpose of this competition is to, to figure out a way how can, how can we think about the future in a more productive way. Tobias Holler is an assistant professor at NYIT School of Architecture and Design, and his idea was based on economic sustainability. And equal um, you know, areas of nature and man-made, 100% um, renewable energy, mostly from a, a, a long wind farm along the whole South Shore, 100% local food production in high-density uh, uh, hydroponic farms. Judges will be meeting over the next several months to evaluate the concepts proposed by the 23 finalists. And the winner, who will receive a grand prize of $10,000, will be announced in early October. In Old Westbury, J.B. Buno, LI News Tonight.